No. Nah. That's not it. Oh, here it is. Now, I could sit here boring you guys with text like this and go over with the whiteboard, but no, I'm actually going to go into Roblox Studio and show you what actually needs to be done and what's happening with this user input service, so let's get right into that. Alrighty then, to start we actually need to add in a local script in the starter player and starter character scripts like so. I'm just going to add a local script and I'm just going to name this uh, user input. Since the service is client side only, it will only work when using a local script or a module script required by a local script. So that's when you need to just use a local script to demonstrate and everything. And also, as user input services client side only, users in the game can only detect their own input, not the input of others. So that's also a key thing to remember here. So the one thing I'm going to start off with is we need to set a variable here. We're going to say local user input service will be equal to game get service user input service. So in order to understand what user input service, I just need to say this. So user input service is basically a service used to detect and capture the different types of input available on a user's device. And the primary purpose of the service is to allow for experiences to cooperate with the multiple forms of available input, such as gamepads, touchscreens, and keyboards. It allows the local script to perform different actions depending on the device and in turn provide the best experience for the end user. And some uses of this service include detecting user input when they interact with GUIs, tools, and other game instances. In order to detect user input, the service must look for a service event. So you may be wondering, how will I actually get to the user input service? How will I actually detect if a player is pressing a key or touching their screen? So what we actually need to do is we need to say user input service dot input began. And we're going to connect a function to that. This function is going to take the input object parameter right there. And then we can say if input object dot key code e equals equals to enum dot key code. And then you can put any key here. You can do left shift, left control, F, A, B, D, C, all the way through Z and everything. You can even do all of the function keys on your computer. You can do all the different... Um, signs, numbers, everything. I'm just going to do F for now because that's when it's easy to reach. So basically we're getting our input service up here that we assign to this variable which is getting the service of user input service from the game and we're telling it that whenever someone presses a key on their, com on their keyboard it's going to connect a function and we put an input object as that uh, parameter in the function now the input object is basically their keyboard themselves, so if their keyboard's key that they pressed equals to the F that we assigned here, then we can go ahead and run our code inside of this little part right here. And I'm just going to say print uh, player has pressed F. So that was just a very basic way of explaining it. Click on play. And now if you open up the output, so basically as you can see whenever I press F in the output, our print statement will run because our player has pressed F here. And that's what we told it to print whenever we would press F. Not limited to just printing object inside of this. You can also run other complex, more advanced functions if you'd like to. Maybe even just a code where if you press shift, maybe you can start sprinting. I have a video on that you could watch right here on the top right. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and comment down below. I'll catch you in the next one. Ever find yourself in a coding box? Trying to escape but don't know roadblocks. When you're in need, Rusty Silly Band is always ready to lend a helping hand. From studio basics to advanced techniques, he's got it all covered, no worries, no critiques. He's like